In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how to control legacy animation with Playmaker in Unity 5. First of all, create a new project and new scene in Unity and import the Playmaker package. Create a floor and two walls beside each other with a gap in the middle for a door. Make some sliding doors out of two cubes, one half on each side, in between the two walls. Create an empty object and place it in front of the sliding doors. Rename the left side of the door to door L and the right side to door OR. Make the two sides of the door children of the empty object by dragging them underneath it in the hierarchy. Rename the empty object to Door Parent. Select Door Parent and open the Animation window and choose Create New Clip. Rename it to Door Idle. Click Create New Clip again and rename this one to Door Open. Click Add Property. In the timeline, go to one second and drag the right door to the right so that it's open. Repeat for the left door and you should see the keyframes being added automatically. Click Create New Clip again and rename this one to Door Close. Click Add Property. In frame 1, open the doors and at 1 second have them closed again. In your Assets folder you'll see the animations that you just created. Click on Door Close and in the inspector panel, click on the icon in the top right. Select Debug from the drop-down menu, and then make sure that the Legacy box is checked. This is the older form of creating animation in Unity. Repeat this for Door Idle and Door Open, making sure that Legacy is checked each time. Select the Door Parent object. In the inspector panel, remove the Animator component. Click Add Component and choose Physics Box Collider. Tick the Is Trigger checkbox. Resize and reposition the box collider so that it's in front of your sliding doors. Import the character package and add a first person controller to the scene. Select the door parent object and add a new FSM in Playmaker. Add a trigger enter transition to state 1. Add a new state and add a trigger exit transition. Add one more state and add a finished transition. Connect state 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 and 3 back to 1. Test the game to see if the trigger is working. Make sure your doors are not touching anything else or the state will automatically trigger to state 2. Move to the door to test it out. Select state 2 and add a play animation action from the Playmaker Actions panel. You'll notice a warning, game object requires animation component. Click on the warning. Go to the inspector and look at the animation component that's been added. In the animation field, drag the door idle animation from the assets panel. Change animations size to 3. Change element 1 to door open and 2 to door close. Make sure the play automatically box is unchecked or else the animation will just start playing. Select state 2 and go back to the play animation action in the Playmaker editor window. Beside anim name, use the drop down menu icon to select door open. Select state 3 and add a play animation action. Beside anim name, choose door close. Test the game and when you go to the door, it will open. When you leave, it will close. So this has been a short tutorial on how to create legacy 
animation interactively using Playmaker in Unity File.